Hey two viewers, um, today I'm going to show you how big of a fan I am of Harry Potter. Starting with Legos. The Burrow. Hagrid's Head. Quidditch Field. Hogwarts Castle. Then um, I have Diagon Alley. I'm going to do a review on all those, so just watch my channel. And then I have this, a homemade broom that I made. Not a Nimbus 2000. I made it out of sticks, duct tape, and just a big, long stick. And then I made, and then, and I need to show you my Harry Potter shelf. First, I have playing cards. Then, I had this little guy that I made when, um, when I was turning 11. Then, I have... A very own body bear cup. That is really good. I've been to Harry Potter World, so that explains it. This I had for six or seven years. That's how long I was a fan. And then, hold on. Then I made my own little origami snitch. I uh, showed you that in a video, too. Then I got a Harry Potter board game. I also got the Harry Potter Lego Wii game. Then Harry Potter Silly Bands. Uh... Let's see, the action figure I had for four years. Then, um, that, the Search for Stone, I'm on the fourth book. And so there's that, and I have some few things that I got out of my shelf. And it's, um, also, no, well, some of it's from Harry Potter World. This is from Harry Potter World. Harry Potter's wand, not his actual wand, it cost $30. But they had Voldemort's and Dumbledore's and Hermione's and all that. And so, here, I'll show you. It's pretty awesome. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. Hold on. I never take it out to just play with it. I'm just showing you an example. I never just, like, play with it. Most of the kids probably just buy it and play with it and break it. But I'm going to save this for when I'm really old. And then put that to the side. Then I have this painting that my friend drew. And, well, painted. Then I have a few pictures of when I was at um, Harry Potter World. This is a 5972 train, Hogwarts Express. This is Oliver Ranger's wand shop. And this is Hagrid's hut. And, um... Oh, one more picture. One. I have to show you this picture. I made the portrait myself, but the picture inside it, we actually took that when we were at Harry Potter World. It, it looks exactly the same like in the movie, but we were there. It was really, really cool. And then um, I have one more thing to show you from my Harry Potter shelf. It's my Harry Potter Ultimate Sticker Collection. As you can see. I use most of the stickers for the thing I'm about to show you now, but in a couple of minutes, I mean. But uh, here's a page, for example. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. There's that. That's the side. And now, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Around my intercom, I put little. Uh, around my intercom, I put little. Um, uh, stickers, I mean, not stickers, I made it myself, I made that, no, that was off of the scarf, I made all of those, handmade, I printed all of them, then put them on the colored paper, and, um, so, there's that, and then my poster of Harry Potter, Lego Harry Potter, I have the game, and that poster is really cool to me, I don't know why, and then, one, I gotta come on my bed. And then I have that. That I painted. Then I drew that. I don't know why, but. Then I did that. Uh, the Deathly Hollow Sun out of Popsicle 6. I have all the movies but Deathly Hollow Part 2. And that's coming out on DVD um, November 11, 2011. And I can't wait, it's so close. Um, and then, oh, I forgot to show you something. 
This is my like biggest thing. So I'm gonna close it and then I'm gonna show you. It's handmade. I made it myself, no help from my parents or anything. See that? Yeah. See? Um that's the thing that I use for my stickers. I'm about to show you what's inside. So I'm gonna open it. Okay. Yay! This it took me four days to make. Yeah, I got the evil wizards, the good wizards, Diagon Alley. Then I got, sorry if it's backwards, it's uh, my dad, I mean, yeah, my dad's um, phone, so. Uh, there's, I did that myself, by the way. There's Quidditch in the top, creatures, and the movies on the bottom. And that's that, and it took me four days to make, that's cool. Then I also got to show you something that I can do. Come on. I can also play the Hedwig's theme song on piano. Ready? Sorry if I messed up, I haven't played this in a while. There's that. And that I'll teach you a tutorial on how to make do that too. And so one more thing I gotta show you. It took a I'm still working on it and it's and it's been a year, but I'm still working on it. Uh, I need everything possible on Harry Potter. And that's my journal. And that's my folder. That's me. <laughs> so um Journal, I'm going to flip to a random page. This is everything you need to know. You can think of anything, and it will be in this journal. I've been working on it for about... No, I've been working on it almost two years. And it's... Let me just flip to a random page. Quidditch. Quidditch. Yeah, so... Then I'm going to flip to another page. Wands, okay? Little wands. Everything you need to know or have to know, just like sub like send me and send me a little what you call it comment and see like look up dragons or potions, wands, animals, anything. Diagon Alley, the Burrow, any place or anything in Harry Potter, and I'll look it up in my book. And so there's that. And in my folder, it's <laughs> cool. I have the same exact thing, but it's just in paper. And then I have my own version of, hold on. Then I have my own version of uh, Tales of Beat of the Bard. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so there's my collection of Harry Potter, and I'm also um, and I'm also in the middle of making a Lego Harry Potter Sorcerer's Stone. And I'm going to put that on YouTube. And um, I'm making a, my own Harry Potter wand. And I'm making um, Harry Potter pu Potter Puppet Pals. I'm going to show you that in my next video. So, um, show you later. See you later. Subscribe, comment. See ya.